tayo tayo pa'y manalangin, mga minamahal. Dear Heavenly Father, mahal na Panginoon, muli sa pagkataong to, we thank thee, O Lord, for blessing every part ng aming pag-worship sa iyo this day, mahal na Panginoon. Hallelujah. Higit sa lahat, mahal na Panginoon, sa pagkilos mo sa aming kalagitnaan, for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit, which is our strength in serving you. Thank you for the testimony that we had heard, mahal na Panginoon, and the praises, song of praise that we felt your Holy Presence. We thank thee, O Lord, and at this time, mahal na Panginoon, hallelujah, we're going to study your holy word. Without you, I cannot do anything. We pray that to open our minds and hearts and understanding, mahal na Panginoon, forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, lalo ang ibang lingkod, mahal na Panginoon, help me bring forth thy holy message with love and power. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we rebuke all the power of darkness, unbeliefs, and doubts, cast out from us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The highest praise, honor, and glory and thanksgiving is to our dearest Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. That we are serving and we are praising. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. And we also double honor and respect our beloved honorable pastor, Wilde Strad Almeda, the man of God and time prophet of our loving God. And we also remember and cherish the blessed teaching and memories ng ating beloved and honorable assistant pastor Lina C. Almeda and greetings din po sa lahat ng kanilang mga beloved children in-law sa po na ating mahal na pastor at sa inyo pong lahat mga minamahal mga kapatid sa ating po mga webcast viewers God bless you po, hallelujah at muli ang pinakamataas na pagpupuri ay walang iba sa ating pinakamamahal na Panginoong Sus po lamang and we are so happy na makasama muli mga minamahal ating beloved uh, Sister Shirley, beloved uh, uh, Lagulay family, kanya mom and dad, mga minamahal, Sister Shena de la Cruz, Sister Shirley, uh, Mona and Felix, and uh, from the Philippines, uh, Sister Ashley, Susan, Susan Reyes, amen. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan natin ating pinamahal Panginoon. We are so glad that we are here with us, praising with our dearest Jesus, amen. There's not a, a more important things, mga minamahal, than to spend time to our Creator. Amen? Mo, most people, mga minamahal, during weekends, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, they're all having fun, mga minamahal. They don't have time to pray. Amen? But we thank God, amen, that we are here. God is touching us to praise our dearest Jesus. Palakpakan natin ating pinamahal na Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. As uh, ating po pag-aaralan ngayon, mga minamahal, amen, the promise of God. As Christian who came to know our dearest Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, which we are, mga minamahal, kung meron po tayong kapatiran na hindi pa nababautismuhan, you need to be baptized, you need to accept our dearest Jesus to heirs of eternal life o magmana ng buhay na walang hanggan. Amen? Hallelujah. And uh, as Christian, we accepted our dearest Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We must be consistent in serving our dearest Jesus faithfully. Amen? Consistent, but we have to be faithful. Amen? When you say faithful, uh, there's a lot of detailed words that you have integrity to the Lord, you are faithful, you observe the commandments of the Lord, and all the list goes on. That's why we have service three times a week to learn about the Word of God. Amen? Which is the Bible. Amen? This is so thick, mga minamahal. So we study, we learn, mga minamahal. We cannot simply know the Lord overnight in one time, mga minamahal, in one Bible study. Amen? As the Bible said, um, in 2 Timothy 3.16, all his scriptures is given inspiration of God. Amen? And is profitable for doctrine, for correction, for, uh, for doctrine and correction and reproof, mga minamahal. Hallelujah. For instruction in righteousness. So that the man of God or woman of God or children of God, which is us, mga minamahal, hallelujah, may be perfect and thoroughly furnished. Amen? Unto all good works. Amen? Kaya yung po yung salita ng Diyos, amen, hallelujah, is inspiration of God that given us, amen. And we know that the Bible also said, Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path, amen. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po natin muli ating pinamala Panginoon. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Mahina yata, palakpak na malakas, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. Hallelujah. Mga minamahal, hindi po ako ang pinapalakpakan nyo ating dearest Jesus, amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody say praise the Lord. 
Praise the mighty name of dearest Jesus. The story that we are going to study, mga minamahal, is the story of the Israelites. Amen? From Egypt to promised land. And there is a lesson for all of us, as the Bible said, that uh, the Bible is written for us, amen, for our learning. Amen? In the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse uh, 4 to 5, mga minamahal, the Bible said that uh, our dearest Jesus has given us the word of God for our learning. Amen? If we can put uh, the, the Bible verse, mga minamahal, kung sino po yung nag mga minamahal, kindly pakilagay. From the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4 to 5. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Amen. Para daw sa ikatututo natin, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Meron tayong pag-asa. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward one another according to Christ Jesus. Kailangan meron daw tayong patience and unity. Amen. Like one-minded mga minamal toward uh, our dearest Jesus Christ. Sa Tagalog po, ating pong basahin kindly po, mga minamahal. Mga taga Roma, Kapitulo 15, Versikulo 4 at 5. Sapagkat ang namang mga bagay na sinulat ng una ay nangasulat dahil sa ikatututo natin upang sa pamagitan ng pagtitiis at pag-aliw ng mga kasulatan ay magkaroon tayo ng pag-asa. Loob binawa ng Diyos ng pagtitiis at paggiliw na kayo ay magkaisa ng pag-iisip sa isa't isa, ayon kay Kristo Jesus. Amen. Amen. Everybody say praise the Lord. Magkaisa daw tayo mga minamahal. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a lesson for us. Now, like us, children of God, we were baptized in the, in the name of our dearest Jesus. And Amen. Hallelujah. In 1 Corinthians 10, 1 to 6 mga minamahal, it explains here mga minamahal yung mga Israelites Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Verse 2, And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples. Remember, in verse 6, mga minamahal, God was not well pleased. Bakit po mga minamahal? In verse 6, now these things were our example, our example to the intent that we should not last after evil things as they also lasted. Sa Tagalog po ating basahin, mga minamahal. Praise the Lord. Unang mga taga-Kurinto, Kabanata 10, uh, Talata 1-6. Tapagkat hindi ko ibig, mga kapatid, na di ninyo maalaman na ang ating mga magulang ay nangapa sa ilalim ng alapap at ang lahat ng magsitawid ay nagsitawid sa dagat. At lahat ay nangabautismuhan kay Jesus, kay Moises, sa alapaap at sa dagat. At lahat ay nagsikain ng isang pagkain ding ayon sa Espiritu. At lahat ay nagsiinom ng isang inumin ding ayon sa Espiritu sapagkat nagsiinom sa batong ayon, ayon sa Espiritu na sumusunod sa kanila. At ang batong yaon ay Si Kristo, bagaman ang karamihan sa kanila ay hindi nakalugod sa Diyos sapagkat sila'y ibinuwal sa ilang. Ang mga bagay nito ito ngay pawang naging mga halimbawa sa atin upang huwag tayong magsipagnasa ng mga bagay na masama na gaya naman nila na nagsipagnasa. Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands to our dearest Jesus once again. Thank you for your holy word, dearest Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. They were overthrown in the wilderness. Amen. And remember, 20 years old upward, hindi po sila nakarating, mga minamahal, because of their murmurings and complaining 
Amen. Yung 19 years old down, sila po mga minamahal ang nakarating. Amen. Instead of traveling for 40 days, they were there for 40 nights. Uh, 40 years po pala. Praise the Lord. And uh, their destination is the promised land, which is the land that floweth with milk and honey. But, but they are being tired in the wilderness, so God will know who will enter the promised land, which is the obedient one, yung mga sumusunod. In our time, promised land is heaven. After our acceptance of our dearest Jesus, that's not the end of it. Amen? Because we have to continue to serve our dearest Jesus. The Lord will try us too. God is watching us. Amen? Observing how we live our lives. Amen? And it is supposed to be consistent. Hindi katulad po nung patay sindi na ilaw. Amen? Uh, not like the lights that is blinking. You know, when you see the Christmas light, it, 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 it's, uh, it's going to blink on and off. We are not supposed to serve our dearest Jesus like that. Okay, one month I will attend and the next month I will go for flesh sure. I'll go back to smoke and drink. That's not the way that God wants. Amen? As a, I will we always study, be holy for I am holy. Observe my commandment. We always sing the, to our dearest Jesus, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. But the Lord is always, always telling us, if you love me, keep my commandment. Amen? So that is the things, mga minamahal, that we should always remember. Amen? Because the Lord gave them all the miracles. Mga minamahal, imagine with great power, uh, the, the Israelites was able to uh, set free from the bondage. Amen? It was delivered from Egypt they, because they were slaves. It's like us, mga minamal, when we do not know yet or we didn't accept our dearest Jesus yet, we are slave of a sin, mga minamal. And the Bible said, to whom you yield yourself to, you are slave of it. Amen? He who committed sin is a servant of sin, the Bible said. But now we are purchased by the blood of Jesus. We accept our dearest Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We ought to live uh, the will of God. Amen? It's just like when you are driving your vehicle, mga minamahal, the driver is you. If you want to turn left, you turn left. If you want to turn right, turn right or straight. But now, we are only a passenger. Who's the driver now? Who is the driver now? Our dearest Jesus. Let's clap our hands out to our dearest Jesus. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. He is the one that directing us. That's why he always... Uh, he also said in the Bible, Amen, Hallelujah. Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways and He will direct your path. Amen. So you will not be harmed. You will not be in trouble. You always, Hallelujah, pray unto the Lord and uh, accept, uh, acknowledge the Lord in whatever you decide. Amen. Or what decision you are going to make. Amen. According to the Holy Scriptures. So you will not be in trouble. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In in this verse, the uh, next verse that we are going to read from the uh, book of 1 Peter chapter 1, 6, 7, we are being tried, mga minamahal, amen? Wherein greatly rejoice through now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation, amen? And in verse 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of dearest Jesus Christ. Amen? The trial of our faith, manifold temptation. When you say manifold, means mga minamahal, hallelujah, ang uh, salitang manifold, ang meaning po niyan ay iba-iba. Uh, Amen? Different trials that we are going to encounter when we serve our dearest Jesus. That's why marami mga minamahal, sabi ng ating mahal na Panginoon, many were called but few are chosen. Because when they come to know our dearest Jesus in the ministry of Jesus Miracle Crusade, oh, I didn't know I have to live a holy dress. I didn't know that I have to attend. Amen? That's the teaching of our beloved parents in the Lord because the Lord wants us, not only our, uh, uh, our beloved parents in the Lord had found that in the Bible, amen, in the book of uh, Holy Scriptures, that we should attend so we will grow as Christian. Amen? Remember, the Bible said uh, uh, that if any man, um, to be able to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again. When Nicodemus asked, how can a man be born again? 
when he is old enough, mga minam, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? No. Uh, born, you must be born of water and of spirit because unless you are born of water and spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. When you baptize, you are like a baby Christian. You don't know yet a word of God. Maybe you're familiar, but the detail that you have to know when you encounter trials and problems because we have an enemy. Amen? You cannot just sit around, oh, I am baptized, you're going to relax. No, you have to pray. You have to fast. You have to work out your salvation. The Bible said, work out your salvation. Amen? Well, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. natin ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon. Amen? So we are being tried. Amen? Because like a gold, mga minamal, when you see the gold, the example, Peter example as like a gold. When you find a gold in the mining place, mga minamal, that is full of dirt. So they have to clean it. They have to run it through the fire and purify it. It's the same like us. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of dearest Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. The enemy job is to kill and steal and destroy. When he found out that you are a Christian now because we are bondage also of the devil. Remember the Egyptian, I mean the Israelites, when, they're, when they are in Egypt, that symbolizes their slave, they, they, they are slave there, that symbolizes us also, we are slave of a sin. Amen? Hallelujah. But when we came to know our dearest Jesus Christ, He set us free. Aren't you happy that we are set free, mga minamal? Let's, let's clap our hands to our dearest Jesus. I remember a story, mga minamahal, you know, during the time back then, uh, years and years ago, mga minamahal, in America, uh, merong mga auction. I was able to attend some auction nung bumili ako ng car one time, and you are going to, you know, show the price, you know. And the auction that, they, uh, that I had story, that I had known is, mga minamahal, yung mga black slavery, they were selling it, mga minamahal, in the auction. Can you say amen? Amen? amen. amen. Are you familiar with that, mga minamal? The sad story of this is, mga minamal, if the owner decided to sell all his slaves, let's say one family, mother and father, daughter and son, they will put it on stage. And this is the most agonizing things that ha could happen to a black family because one, the child, the boy and the girl will be bought by different persons. So they go to other place and then the mother and father. Talagang mahirap. But this one occasion, mga minamal, Hallelujah. This person that was purchased by this man, a white man, of course, mga minamahal, when he sat down and get into the car, he was screaming, I will not work. I will not work. I will not work. And he didn't know that the one who purchased him is a pastor. And he said, quiet. I bought you to set you free. And he was quiet for a while and said, and he just whispered to him, then I will work for you. <laughs> Can you say amen? Palakpakan natin mga Panginoon. Hallelujah. It's the same thing like us. Amen. The Lord bought us to set us free. Amen. So we have, hallelujah, to be in deep gratitude. Mga minamahal, magpapasalamat tayo. Lagi tayo magpupuri, mga minamahal, in return because we cannot repay the sacrifice of our dearest Jesus. Amen. Today uh, is our Holy Supper. We're commemorating Hallelujah, the death and the burial of our dearest Jesus, mga minamahal. It's a difficult uh, things that uh, our dearest Jesus had passed through, mga minamahal. Be imagine, mga minamahal, pako ka sa, sa kamay mo, mga minamahal. Amen. Tapos yung weight mo nandoon. It's an agonizing situation, but the, our dearest Jesus, you know, hallelujah, redeem us, sacrifice himself, mga minamahal. Can you say Amen. Amen. Now we're going to, uh, to read a short story. Uh, I make it quick, mga minamahal, yung ating uh, babasahing story. How the Israelites was set free from the bondage of sin. And this story was from the book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30 to 33. They were already crossed over the Red Sea, and now they are going to promised land. Amen. And to be able to go to the promised land, they have to fight the enemy. It's same thing like us. We have the enemy. Amen? The enemy that is uh, attacking us is the devil, uh, Satan, mga minamahal. He comes to kill and steal and destroy. 
And this uh, story, mga minamal, that we're going to read is uh, the Israelites were, most of them, the majority of them don't want to fight. They are lazy. Uh, hopefully not in our time, mga minamal, are lazy in praying, in attending church, in worshiping, amen, want, don't want to obey. So in verse, uh, in, in uh, book of Numbers, chapter 13, 30 to 33, and Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able, we were well, well able to overcome it. But the man that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we. Remember mga minamahal, yung mga spies na pumunta ron is about 12 of them. And only Caleb and Joshua is strong enough to convince the people that we can overcome them. But the majority, no, we cannot fight. Eh, hopefully in our time, mga minamahal, wag, wag tayo magkaroon ng attitude na ito. Amen? That we cannot fight. Amen? The Lord has given us the weapon, prayer and fasting. Amen? To cast out the devils. Amen? That is our enemy. And in verse 32, And they brought up an evil report to the land which they had searched. So, nagkaroon ng camp meeting, mga minamahal, but the majority of, of them bought, brought evil report. And they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up, in, up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the son of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshopper. And so we were in their sight. Mga minamahal, yun po ang kanilang sinasabi. Pero si Caleb, mga minamahal, he tried to convince the people and still the people, let us go up at once and possess it. Yun po ang sinabi niya. And in, verse, uh, in chapter 14, if you can put it on the screen, mga minamahal, 1 to 6, And all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people wept that night. Nang lupaypay sila, mga minamahal. Amen. That night, because they, na, narinig nila yung report, dahil sa mga report nitong mga walang pananampalataya na sampu, mga minamahal, kinuminsi hindi natin kakayanin. Amen? Ayaw nilang, despite of the miracles that they had encountered, mga minamahal, are able to cross the Red Sea. Amen? The ten plagues that uh, our dear Lord put in Egyptian, mga minamahal, so they could set free, mga minamahal. Nakalibutan na nila kagad yun. Amen? And sometimes it's happened to us. That's why our dearest Jesus is always reminding us. Amen? Merong chastisement, may palo, mga minamal. So we come back to our senses. Because devil is cunning. Amen? Palagpakan natin ng mahal na Panginoon. You know, sometimes the devil is give us delusion. Amen? Para hindi tayo mag-focus sa word of God. Amen? Para hindi tayo mag-analyze ng ating mga gagawin. But this, mga minamal, in the verse second, uh, verse 2, And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we had died in the land of Egypt. Gusto na nilang bumalik sa Egypt. And would God we had died in this wilderness. And wherefore hath the Lord brought us unto this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey, were it not better for us to return into Egypt. Mas maganda pa, bumalik na lang daw sa Egypt. Kaya may mga Kristiyano, amen, there are Christians who get baptized, you know, what, I, will, I don't want to attend for now. And then they stop attending and get cold in serving the, our dearest Jesus. Ang nangyari ng mga minamahal, nag-backslide na, mga minamahal. Amen? We know that our, some, some Christian are not able to attend for some personal reason. Uh, we cannot call them backslider because the Lord knows their heart. But those people who go back in sinful life, mga minamahal, let's go back to Egypt. Let's return to Egypt. Ibig sabihin, Egypt is the symbol of sin. Babalik daw sila sa kasalanan. And verse 4, And they said one to another, Let us make a captain and let us return to Egypt. 
maghanap na rin ng mamumuno sa atin. Ayan na, nagkaroon na ng division, mga minamahal. Amen? Bulong-bulungan na. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel. Biruin mo si Moses na, the prophet of God, nagbeg na sa kanila, please, don't go back. Don't go back. And verse 6, And Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb, the son of Jephune, which were on the, of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. Amen. Hinapak nila yung kanilang clothes, mga minamal. Ano ang nangyari sa ating mga kapatirang Israelite? Mga duwag, takot. Amen. Hallelujah. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we should not, mga minamahal, worried about anything. You worried when you disobey the commandments of the Lord. Because once you disobey the commandments of the Lord, the protection of the Lord is not in you anymore. Because you grieve the Holy Spirit. Once you grieve the Holy Spirit, mga minamahal, hindi ka magiging successful, maghihirapan ka, magkakaroon ka ng struggle, dadapo ang lahat ng karamdaman sa iyo, mag magkakaroon ka ng uh, hardship, mga minamahal. Kaya nga, mga minamahal, it is so important to obey the commandments of the Lord. Amen? And in the next verse, in 7 and 10, mga minamahal, Joshua, Caleb convinced them not to rebel or fear. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which were passes through to cert is, to cert it is an exceeding good land. Magandang lupa. If the Lord delight in us, you know, kung ang ating pinamala Panginoon malugod sa atin, ang sabi niya, then He will bring us into this land and give it us a land which floweth with milk and honey. Only in verse 9, rebel not against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are a bread for us. Amen? Sabi nila, tinapay sila para sa atin, huwag nyo silang katakutan, huwag lamang kayong magre-rebelde. Amen? At ating mapupuntahan ang langit sa ating panahon ngayon. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In, 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 as we continue, for they are bread for us, their defense is departed from them. Wala silang defense. And the Lord is with us, fear them not. Wala silang defense. Ha? Ang mga demonyo, wala silang defense kapag ka nasa atin ang dearest Jesus. Unless wala sa'yo ang dearest Jesus, kahit mag-cast out ka na mag-cast out, Hallelujah. Yung evil thoughts mo, yung pumasok sa mind and heart mo, hindi mo mapapalayas. Bakit? You don't submit yourself to God. The Bible said, submit yourself before God and you can resist the devil and they shall flee from you. Amen? Hallelujah. But all the congregation bait and stoned them and, and stoned them with stones and the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of the righteousness before all the children of Israel. nag na ang mahal na Panginoon, mga minamahal. Amen? Dahil babatuhin na nila si Moses, si Aaron, galit na galit, mga minamahal, papunta, papunta ng promised land tayo, papunta ng langit. Wag na, wag na, wala naman sa ating attitude na ganito, mga minamahal. Amen? Hallelujah. Na hinuturuan mo ng tama, lalaban pa sa gawain, mga minamahal. Amen? This is, mga minamahal, rebellious, mga minamahal. Amen? Hallelujah. Kaya nga, mga minamahal, nag-intervene na ating mahal na Panginoon. In our congregation, we know God always intervene to those people who are stubborn. Kinukuha na lang ng mahal na Panginoon. Amen? Can you say amen? And the Lord intervene, mga minamahal, bumaba ang clouds. At doon, mga minamahal, sabi ng ating minamahal na Panginoon kay Moses, Moses, I will smite these people with pestilence. I will kill them all. And Moses pray. In verse 11 to 12, And the Lord said unto Moses, How long will these people provoke me? And how long will it be our day, believe me, for all the signs which I have shewed among them? Sinabi na ng mahala Panginoon, I have a lot of signs that I had shown them. Amen? In Egypt, in verse 12, I will smite them with pestilence and disinherit them and will make of thee a greater nation and mightier than they. Sabi niya, Moses, ikaw, ang binhimo ang gagawin kong strong nation. 
but Moses, mga minamahal, very unselfish mga minamahal. Hallelujah, doon kanyang pagmamahal sa kanyang mga kapatid, mga minamahal. Nag-pray siya sa mahal na Panginoon. Nag-beg siya sa mahal na Panginoon. Nag-pray siya. We'll just keep mga minamahal reading para maaga tayong matapos. In verse 14, 19 to 20, Hallelujah. Sabi ng ating uh, uh, Prophet Moses, Pardon, I beseech thee, the iniquity of these people, according unto the greatness of thy mercy, and as thou hast forgiven these people from Egypt, even until now. Even until now. Ang sabi dito, 19 to 20 po, pakilagay yung verse, praise the Lord. And the Lord said, I have pardoned according to thy word. Amen? Na. Pinatawad sila mga minamahal ng ating pinamahal ng Panginoon. Ngunit pagkatapos noon mga minamahal as the pardon in 22 and 35, nagalit talaga ang mahal na Panginoon, hindi sila nakapasok sa promised land. Amen. And this may not be happened to us mga minamahal pagka tayo po ay faithful sa ating minamahal na Panginoon. Amen. Because our destination is a holy place. Be holy for I am holy. Can you say Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We always study the Word of God and we're going to, uh, not going to read that Bible verse. You know that verse already. And this one in 22 and 35. Because all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles which I did in Egypt and in wilderness and have tempted me now these ten times and have not hearkened to my voice. Hindi pa rin sila sumusunod, mga minamahal, despite of the miracle. Talaga mga stubborn. Surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers, neither shall any of them that provoke me see it. Hindi na raw sila makapunta, mga minamahal. 24. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him and had followed me fully, him will I bring into the land wherein to he went, in his seed shall possess it. Now the Amal Amalekites and the Canaanites dwelt in the valley. Tomorrow turn you and get you into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation which murmur against me? I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel, which they murmur against me. Kaya mga minamahal, kahit nasaan tayo, pag nagmamurmur tayo, nagbubulong-bulungan, o may mga reklamo tayo, mga minamahal, o may ginagawa tayo, hindi ka lugod-lugod sa mahal Panginoon. He knows that. Amen. In verse 28, Say unto them, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, as she have spoken in mine ears, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall into this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you according to your whole number from 20 years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Doubtless she shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. But your little ones, which she said should be a prey, them will bring in and they shall know the land which she have despised. Yung po, mga minamahal, ay promised land. Symbol sa atin ang heaven. But, uh, but as for you, your carcasses, they shall fall in this wilderness. Kayo'y mga mamatay. Amen? Dito sa ilang. And as we continue, mga minamahal, 33, And your children shall wander in the wilderness 40 years, and bear your boredom until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. Hanggang maubos daw sila. At yung mga batang yun na 19 years old pa baba, yun ang mga kapasok. After the number of the days in which ye search the land, even 40 days, each day for a year shall be your iniquities, even 40 years. Magiging 40 years daw mga minamahal. Amen? Hallelujah. Ang kanilang paglalakbay. As we continue in verse 34, Ye shall know my breach of promise. Magsinabing breach of promise, cut off na mga minamahal. Amen? Wala na yung promise sa kanila. Amen? Kaya tayo may promise ang ating mahal na Panginoon. Don't let the devil steal the promise that we have, the salvation we have. Amen? Because mayroon pong doktrina ngayon that once you are saved, you are saved forever. Kahit gumawa ka na ng kasalanan, 
Kaya marami mga Kristiyano, pag nag-google ka tungkol sa mga kasalanan, okay lang. Okay lang sa kanila. Bakit? Mga minamahal. Yun ang doktrina nila. Pero sa doktrina ng Biblia, mga minamahal, amen, na tayo po, mga minamahal, once you are saved, hindi saved forever, you have to work out your salvation. You have to live a holy life. You have to follow God's commandment. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Brother Ted, masyadong makunat yung pinag-uusapan natin. Kailangan po to. We need meat. Amen. Praise the Lord, para tayo po matuto. In verse 35, the Lord have said, I will surely do it unto all this evil congregation that are gathered together against me in this wilderness. They shall be consumed and there they shall die. Nakatakot mga minamahal, amen, ang nangyari sa kanila. Kaya nga mga minamahal, bilang isang Kristiyano na tayo po mga minamahal, as soldiers of Christ, we need to follow our dearest Jesus. Amen. Fast, pray, attend. Amen. Humayo. Amen. Sumunod sa utos ng ating pinakamahal na Panginoon. Magbigay sa gawain. Discipline ourselves, mga minamahal. Don't go back to worldly pressure, pleasure, mga minamahal. And we know that worldly pleasure, mga minamahal, the devil working now. A little double time sa mga music, sa mga movies, a little sa mga entertainment, mga minamahal. Makita mo ang pagkilos ng demonyo ngayon, mga minamahal. Amen. Wala nang uh, restriction sa mga rap song, mga minamahal, nagmumura. Sabi ko, bakit pinapayagan ng gobyerno to na ang mga uh, kanilang lyrics ay profanity words, mga minamahal, evil words. Mga minamahal, we are not in the end times or uh, uh, huling panahon ng araw o hu nasa huling oras na tayo, mga minamahal. Amen. Hallelujah. Dalawang verse na lamang po ating babasahin, mga minamahal. Amen. This is a lesson to us. God wants us to ready going to heaven. Amen. Fear God, live a holy life without spot, without wrinkles. Amen. The next verse that we are going to read, mga minamahal, is in the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 2. The kingdom of God is like a peace unto a marriage peace, mga minamahal. Amen. Basahin po natin Matthew 22, verse 1 to 2. Sa Tagalog po, mga minamahal, kung uh, po nakaredi po, mga minamahal. Matthew chapter 22, verse 1 and 2. Matumugot si Jesus at muling pinagsalitaan sila ng mga talinhaga na sinasabi, tulad ang kaharian ng langit sa isang hari na naghanda ng piging ng kasalan ng kanyang anak na lalaki. Amen. Amen. In English po, And Jesus said, Answer and spake unto them again, by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king made with a marriage for his son. And then in verse 8, and verse 8 to 14, Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye, go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways, and gathered together as all, as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guest, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servant, Bind him hand and foot. Take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. In verse 14, For many are called, but few are chosen. Mga minamahal, this symbolizes mga minamahal, we going, hallelujah, to the marriage, papuntan sa langit, we should be wear a white cloth, mga minamahal, without spot, without wrinkles, mga minamahal. As Christian, mga minamahal, huwag niyong hahayaang mamansyahan ang damit natin, mga minamahal, sa kasalanan, mga minamahal, amen, o sa pamumuhay ng hindi nakakaaya at kalugud-lugud sa Diyos, mga minamahal, amen. Because ito po, mga minamahal, ngayon sinabi ng ating mahal na Panginoon, is just like unto this occasion, mga minamahal, if you go, why you come here without uh, uh, garments that is, you know, for this occasion, ang sabi ng, uh, uh, ng kinausap ng mahal na Panginoon, he was speechless. And then the servant, mga minamal, sinabi niya sa servant niya, bind this man, amen, and cast him away into other darkness, where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know the weeping and gnashing of teeth, ito'y mangyayari mga minamal saan? 
saan ito mangyayari, mga minamahal? Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Sa impyerno. Kapag ka nasa apoy ka na, mga minamahal. Many people don't believe in hell. But, uh, hallelujah. Ang sabi nga ng ating mahal na Panginoon, Blessed are they that he have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. Hallelujah. Na. With sign, how sabi nga ng, uh, ng, uh, ni Paul, mga minamahal, how can you escape the fires of hell if you neglect the great salvation with signs and wonders and miracle? Amen. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan po natin muli ang ating pinamahal Panginoon. At last verse natin, maghanda na po ang ating mga awit, mga minamahal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 6 to 16, And he said to me, saying, These saying are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saying of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I heard and seen, I fell and worshipped down before the feet of the angel which shewed me these things. Then said he unto him, unto me, See, thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servants of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keep the saying of this book, Worship God. Amen. Sinabihan siya ng anghel, mga minamahal, wag siyang sasamba, o wag siyang luluhod sa kanya, ang Diyos lamang. Amen. Verse 10, And he said unto me, Seal not the saying of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Is at hand. He that is unjust, ang sabi dito, yung mga banal ay magpapakabanal pa. And let him be unjust still. He that is with filthy, yung marumi daw, magpapakarumi ta. Let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And verse 12, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do His commandments. Take note of that, mga minamahal. Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter to the promised land. Amen? And may enter through the gates of the city. Bakit, mga minamahal? Yung mga nasa labas daw, ano yung mga nasa labas? For without are the dogs. Bakit isinampol yung dog, mga minamahal? Amen. Alam natin yung aso, pagka sumuka, he will eat again his vomit. Sorcerers. Amen. Mga mangkukulam. Whoremongers. Huh? And murderers. And idolaters. And whosoever love it and make it a lie. Alam niyo, mga minamahal, ang napakasimpleng kasalanan and very easy to do is lying. Tanungin ka lang, nagpunta ka ba ron? No, I'm not. Kung naging habit mo yun, mga minamahal, eh? Ano lang naman yun, white lie. There is no white lie na tinasabi sa Bible. When you lie, you lie, mga minamahal. Amen? Ang sabi doon, mga minamahal, and those who love it and do it. Ang sinabi pa dito, ang inexpress, mga minamahal, whosoever love it and make it. Kasi very ano, comfortable pagka sinabi ng boss ko, gusto ko mag-absent, sabihin ko lang, boss, <coughs> may sakit ako, hindi ako makapasok. Oh, ganun ba? Sige, pahinga ka. Simple as that. Hindi ka na makapasok. Successful. Pero hindi pala kalugod-lugod sa mahal na Panginoon. To the unbelievers, they get used to it. But we, as Christian, we are not ought to do that. Amen? Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Verse 15. For without our dogs, sorcerers, warmongers, murderers, and idolaters, whosoever love it and make it a lie, I, Jesus, sent mine angel to this my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Can you say amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan natin ating minamahal Panginoon. I hope we had learned mga minamahal. Amen. As we are approaching the coming of our dearest Jesus. Amen. Marami pa tayong pangarap. Marami pa tayong mga iniisip mga minamahal. That is fine mga minamahal. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with that. But we should give more importance than our retirement, than our wealth, mga minamahal, mga minamahal, sa ating salvation going to the promised land. Amen? Praise the Lord. As we sing this song, mga minamahal, praise the Lord. I would like to invite din, kung meron po tayong